Hey guys, good to be here again. Well, in this video, I would like to give some inputs about the difference between masters in design, I mean MDS, with other masters program like uh, MTech, MARC, masters in architecture, and uh, so on. Well, it's me, Banu, the creator of Stuff You Look blog. Well, precisely speaking, choosing a right education program as well as a career is uh, really a tough job, especially once you cross your 20s, 20s. Many of you will be in a dilemma as to choose the most suited path for your for their future. future. Okay, usually many of the engineering students get confused by the term design because design in engineering perspective is different from design in aesthetic world, at least to some extent. Uh, this video has been created especially for those whom are getting confused because, uh, between actual engineering design uh, and, uh, and that design through SEED or NID. Masters in Design uh, is basically a postgraduate program for aspirants looking for developing skills in design and creativity. Uh, when I came to know about the SEED for the first time, I was thinking that MDS is all about uh, regular engineering design which covers numerical and analytical analysis uh, a much for any R&D sector in India as well as abroad. I was very excited, I was surprised and excited um, but to my surprise I found that I, I wasn't wrong, right, I wasn't correct. Okay friends, uh, remember that the design what MDS refers to is very different from engineering design. MDS is all about uh, design, innovation, and uh, developing of uh, new idea products and so on. Precisely, it involves developing a new concept or remodeling an, uh, remodeling an existing one. Say, for example, if you mention designing a car, uh, it means designing the exterior and interiors of the car, structure, looks, and uh, um, styling of the, of the car. Uh, these, th these things also comes in the design part. Uh, and uh, it may not be about designing for efficiency, environment friendly, as well as uh, some inclusions of uh, latest technologies, whatever. Uh, the latter part, I mean design for efficiency and uh, practical applicability and so on will be taken care of by engineers and uh, uh, of course uh, R&D &D team of the project. But uh, just remember guys, there will be a very regular coordination between the teams and of course designers are the one uh, who develop and generate the concept from the scratch. So I just wanted to say this, if you are totally interested in technical part then, uh, may, uh, then I may say that uh, MDS might not be your correct option. Uh, you can consider that for uh, as your second option. In such cases you may look for MTech or other technical masters program. Okay, I just came across many design students uh, who are always uh, striving to prove that design is everything and engineering is nothing. Yes, wherever possible, they try to criticize engineering. I don't want, I don't know uh, why they have that grudge. So that's why I would like to cover the actual definition of design as per a true engineer or scientist context. I mean, what it means by design to, to a, a true engineer. Uh, not any ordinary degree holder. Okay, Design can be stated as the process that involves any process or steps like uh, interpretation of a process, uh, I mean the theoretical evolution, making the theory go practical, application of concepts, usage and application of uh, engineering tools like, like formulas, concepts, calculation techniques, methods and so on. And uh, innovation of new things like concepts, theories, formula uh, that, are, uh, that are used in practical applications uh, and something like efficiencies, graphs and uh, results. So and remember uh, most importantly, importantly a design process means a check, a check uh, that, should, uh, that should be carried to verify whether the estimated concept meets the need or not. I mean whether it's uh, practical or not. So in this way a true engineer uh, interprets the term design and there's no wrong in doing so because he or she is technical minded and not like any ordinary guys uh, who think that design has nothing to do with engineering and uh, design is solely out of reach, engineer reach. So well, I have already explained in my blog that, uh, that every field, I mean, is interrelated. Every field is interrelated with um, other fields. 
even medical field is related with engineering and also the so called design no stream is unique or something like that a design with no engineering concept is always dumb uh, even if you are a, if you are sketching a plain useless sketch in that case also uh, you would indirectly apply the simple concepts of proportion and more to mention okay everyone especially uh, the current design students should understand that design doesn't solely mean aesthetic nature and it has diverse meaning and uh, applications you might know that most of the seed aspirants are engineering graduates uh, that itself proves how easily an engineer can become a designer and uh, how his engineering skills his or her engineering skills would help him succeed uh, uh, their course okay so if you are a die hard engineer or uh, engineering student and wants to land in the beautiful world of engineering design that can be considered as a part of research then skip this mds or at least give second preference without any thinking and just go for your other technical higher studies like ms or even mtex uh, otherwise you will end up doing some assignments like uh, painting on walls or painting on human faces okay on the other hand if you are not capable of handling the technical part or if you fear for the technical aspects of any streams and uh, wants to land in a path uh, where there is very less involvement of engineering problem solving i mean if you are uh, totally dislike the engineering way then mds is the best option provided you have interest and passion for design okay and yes you still need to have some good engineering aptitude skills uh, indirectly almost everyone has some mathematical aptitude skills uh, i guess that works very well, very well with uh, design Uh, but the fact is very few realize this that's a that's a only fact I, i really feel pity for those guys who always blame the way engineering is at least the institute should teach uh, that a designer is one who thinks in a multiple ways and is in no way bounded by the so called uh, aesthetics or bounded by the walls called aesthetics and the term design is not solely related to uh, aesthetics designs and it does have multiple meaning in dictionary as well as in wikipedia uh, you may just google it or just go through the explanation about design i mean the different approaches of design in wikipedia also just uh, uh, type the word design in uh, wikipedia and you will understand the fact just go through it and you will realize the fact something like this and uh, we can change the thinking and uh, i can say jealous of people okay j- just a second huh? well this is how a true engineer uh, visualize a car you got it right yeah this is how you visualize and uh, the next picture sorry no, sorry yes uh this is how a designer um, like uh, who do uh, who do design with uh, true seed or nid visualize a car one more example yes yep okay so i hope this itself shows the big difference i mean this these pictures itself shows the big difference about what it mean by design in technological technological way and uh, aesthetic way don't you agree okay many design students probably say the ratio of designers to engineers being uh, 1 is to 100 uh, something like this they just uh, keep on saying uh, okay well this statement is absolutely true and i can say the ratio could also be 1 is to 1000 but the fact is uh, one should realize that uh, the ratio is very less just because not because there are very few designers but because there are very few requirements uh, requirements in many industries fields etc design fields etc uh, whatever a designer designs uh, it will get approved only when the des- uh, engineers um analyze that and uh, only when, uh, when it is practically feasible uh, this feasibility will be checked by the engineers that's uh, okay uh, such is the relation between the two industries so at this point uh, i will suggest you to look into your interest and uh, preferences uh, make a comparison table and uh, list down the possible advantages and disadvantages um, in opting mds over mtech or um, 
Vemtaco or MDS or any other masters for that matter. And also be keen to competition as well as career opportunities. Decide whether the preferred selection suits you or not. Uh, you are the best judge for your decisions. Uh, even if the seniors uh, whom are already doing MDS say that the design is superb, awesome or everything, uh, it's up to you to decide whether what they said is true to you or not. Uh, what they say is just based on their own perception. Uh, say some likes pizzas and uh, some don't. Uh, same applies to any career. You have to check whether what they say are actually true or not and you have to decide yourself. Okay. On the other side, if you are really good at sketching art and uh, creative ideas and likes to be involved in uh, product designs with a little concern for um, technical aspects, then you are lucky to choose MDS. Go ahead. Well, that's how I wanted to end this discussion and I am glad I gave some inputs to you. Uh, maybe you are now in a position to evaluate or um, what you call counsel yourself. Good luck with your decision and whatever you prefer MDS or not, whether you prefer MBS or not, just give a try and make it a second option. Uh, if you really wish to take uh, in masters in technology, then also you just give a try. It's, uh, it doesn't harm you. I'm Okay, don't even lose a single chance, I mean. Go ahead, wish you good luck and see you later with a new topic in my coming videos. Bye then.